With the fall season nearly upon us, I've been testing out what I found to be the perfect mix of indoor and outdoor quads for days when you're stuck inside or may only have a short time outdoors. In this video, I'll review two ready to fly quads that may make your fall and winter days much more fun this year. The two we will look at are the QX90C and the E010S, both from banggood.com. These are both ready to fly mini quads with brush motors and FPV video cameras and transmitters. Both these quads worked absolutely fantastic, so here's my full review. Both quads arrived from Banggood without much shipping damage. The antennas were a little squished, but overall, no issues. The QX90 is a fr open frame style where the E010 is more of a ducted fan style, also known as the Tiny Whoops. They come with everything you need to get flying, all in one package except for goggles and a transmitter. These things are both bind and fly, so that means you just bind it to your existing transmitter. Make sure you get the right style. Uh, these are FlySky versions, both of them, to be compatible with my FSI6 radios. Opening up the QX90, it came very well packaged, comes in pretty heavy foam, USB charger, spare parts on board, and the quad sandwiched into the foam quite well. The battery came pre-installed on this one, which kind of makes it tricky to ship these days. It also comes with two spare motors, which is really handy in case downrange you have an issue. The instructions are absolutely excellent for this model. It's in clear English with beautiful pictures, really clear of the connections, flight controller, your transmitter settings, everything you need. The E010 also came extremely well packaged with a spare parts bag and the quad nestled into some heavy foam. No issues here, even the antenna wasn't squished. The FPV camera doesn't come mounted, uh, it's just sort of stuck there with some tape so you have to put on a rubber band and secure it. It did survive shipping just fine. The instructions on this particular model are not quite as good. It's a single page with very little information other than uh, basic bind procedure and basic control. The spare parts bag is ample, the little prop wrench is kind of required to get those props on and off. There's a really hard friction fit, but I have yet to damage one yet. Flying these quads around the house, I felt like a kid again for the last few months. This is the E010 and this thing is a riot. With the enclosed ducted fan style motors, you can bounce it off the walls, bounce it off the furniture, and it does no harm to anything or the quad. And it's even pretty hard to tip over. It seems to like to land on its feet, which is pretty handy when you smack into things like I do. Range is never an issue with it. it, seems to work just fine all around the house with very little breakup on the 5.8 gigahertz video downlink. My Fat Shark goggles just, it looks great. The camera quality is super good as you can see here. Even in low light, it seems to perform like a champ. This thing is just a blast. Moving over to the QX90, this quad is a little bit harder to handle inside. It's quite fast. This is a very small freestyle style quad I would say. It's, it's more for the performance oriented. So it can be a little hard to handle even when I dumb down the settings in beta flight. It, it, it's a little tricky and it doesn't do well with bouncing off furniture. You, the props do pop off very easily which I found to help a lot when I swapped to the Hubson props. They seem to stick on quite a bit better. It doesn't seem to do any damage to the walls or trim when I smack into things, but those props are moving pretty good. It probably could scratch things up a little bit if you uh, smack into something a little soft. The frame on the QX90 is not its strongest point. As you can see here, I did break it. This happened more than once. A little bit of CA glue and I was able to patch it right back up with no ill effects, but it is a bit of a weak point there where the gaps in the frame are. Moving over to the outdoors, this is where the QX90 really comes into its own. This is a perfect little quad for ripping around the backyard. It, it just performs 
awesome. The size is really, really nice to be able to just, well, go out the window or the door and fly right from my home office and sit inside and just rip around the yard. Bouncing off of things, it has no trouble recovering. I've smacked into the trees and the clothesline without issue. It just seems to be able to recover, no problems. The speed of this thing is significant though. You can really get moving quite quickly and cover a lot of ground, which uh, causes a little bit of trouble if you decide to rip down the block. The 5.8 gigahertz video downlink kind of drops out a little quickly, but no issues. The E010 does not perform quite as well outside. It's best left indoors unless it's super calm. The only thing I wish was a little bit better on the QX90 was the camera. This camera, you'll notice, is quite dark, but overall, it works pretty good. To sum up, each of these quads has their own unique pros and cons, and I think both have a purpose for having in your fleet of micro quads. Both together round out a, a perfect little pairing, I think, of, of the best uh, of both worlds, of small and a bit more beefy, faster quad to go out in the backyard and rip around. If you don't mind, take a moment and click that thumbs up button if you like this video. Go ahead and leave a comment down below what you'd like to see done with these quads. I'm thinking it might be really fun to set up an indoor race course this winter with some lights and tear around the house. What do you guys think? I'll see you next video.